Welcome back eager learners to your one and only favorite channel Mathematics filled with mathematical material that will boost your knowledge and your learning capacity to an extraordinary level. This is Ria your host for today's session. Mathematics and astronomy have been going hand in hand since time in memory. All the great mathematicians that we study and hear about now have been referred to as great astronomers repeatedly. In the olden days, a great discovery in mathematics will simultaneously bring about an astonishing revolution in the field of astronomy. It was the mathematical minds of our ancestors that helped us to determine the position and the movement of sun, stars and other planets, even without the inventions of satellites and telescopes for that matter. Their discoveries helped a lot of people to understand more about the workings of nature and they based their work-life balance around such findings. Mathematics is embedded deep into the roots of astronomy from calculating the time period of revolution and rotation of the earth which affects the season and the day and night cycle to revealing the list of planets mathematics is without a doubt the first step in the subject of universe So let us see how our ancestors came about using mathematics in astronomy and the true contribution of maths in the subject of planets In his book Aryabhatiya, Aryabhatta describes mathematics and astronomy, covering spherical trigonometry, arithmetic, algebra, and plane. Aryabhatta also calculated the length of the year almost exactly and figured out the fact that Earth was rotating figure. In the era of Aryabhatta and earlier, people noticing that the position of the stars changed continuously, believed that it was the sky that rotated. However, Aryabhatta correctly insisted. that it was the earth that rotated around its axis and it was due to the rotation of the earth that the stars in the sky looked as if they were moving the concept can be understood simply by taking the example of a moving train while sitting inside a train its motion is forward direct if you were to look outside it would seem as if the train is stationary and it is rather the outside scenery that seems to be moving backwards this relative motion is exactly the same case that occurs with the rotation of the earth that aryabhatta recognized solar and lunar eclipses were also mentioned by the astronomer in question he explains that lunar eclipse occurs when the moon enters the shadow of the earth he also states that the size and extent of the earth's shadow and then provides a computation and the size of the eclipsed part during an eclipse want to know exactly how this conclusion came to view Aryabhatta had calculated that the sun is 400 times larger than the earth. He also discovered that when the sun, moon and the earth are in the same line, the angles of the sun's light will only reach x and y axis of the earth and greater rather than shining on the surface of the earth. Aryabhatta applied plane trigonometry to spherical geometry by projecting lines and points on the surface of a sphere. Later, Indian astronomers improved on the calculations. However, Aryabhatta's methods proved to be the goal. In fact, his calculations were so unerringly accurate that later, 18th century scientist Guillaume Le Gentil, during the visit to Pondicherry, found the Indian computations of the duration of lunar eclipse of 30 August 1765 to be short by 41 seconds, whereas his charts by Tobias Mayer 1752 were long by 68 seconds. Astronomers and mathematicians of this country go back to the earliest of times however with the attack of several invaders and the slow passing of time many of the manuscripts remain to be missing or destroyed varaha mehra who was a mathematician come astronomer himself has given us the gift of the old books in the form of pancha siddhantika this work is a treatise of mathematical astronomy and it summarizes the work of five early astronomers surya siddhanta romaka siddhanta Paulisa Siddhanta, Vashishta Siddhanta, and Pitama Siddhanta. The Surya Siddhanta describes rules to calculate the motion of the planets and the moon relative to the various constellations, diameters of various planets, and also calculates the orbits of various astronomical bodies. The text also calculates the Earth's diameter to be eight thousand miles. The now known diameter is seven thousand nine hundred and twenty-eight miles. The diameter of the moon is said to be around 2400 miles. With the advancement of technology, we know it to be 2160 miles. Amazing how close the great scholars were to the estimations that we now know. Considering the fact that there were very limited resources 
to know anything about such celestial phenomena. Besides the calculation of the Earth's estimated time per sidereal revolution, which in simple language means number of days in an year, Surya Siddhanta has also given the astronomical calculations of the time per sidereal revolutions of other planets such as Mangal, which is Mars, Buddha, which is commonly known as Mercury, Ruaspati, Jupiter, Shukra, Venus, and Shani, that is Saturn. Not only this, but the description of time is so intricate and beautiful and very much in sync with the calendar that we follow now. The time has been divided into two subgroups and classified on the basis of such divisions. This treatise divides time as a whole into two subgroups. The first, which is continuous and endless, and the second, which can be known. The latter is further divided into murta, which means measurable, and Amurta, which translates to immeasurable. Amurta is considered to be immeasurable because it is either too big or too small. It starts off with Truti, which is the infinitesimal portion of time. The model calculations denoting it to be 29.6296 microseconds. Murta, which means measurable time, begins with Prana, which basically comprises of 4 seconds. 6 Pranas make 1 Pala, which obviously will mean 24 seconds as we multiply 4 by 6. Moving further, 60 palas will make 1 ghatika, that is 24 minutes, and 60 ghatika makes up 1 nakshatra avotra, which means 1 day. As you see, dear viewers, though the names are quite distinct, and rightfully so, as it was adopted from the language of that time, but the concept of days, minutes, and seconds were quite similar if it is to be compared with the modern era's use of time. Varaha Veera was the first one to mention that I namsa or the shifting of this equinox is 50.32 hours per year. And recognition is what we present to you, dear viewers. So hang on for the future episodes as well if you want to unravel the mystery of this bewildering subject. Be sure to click the bell icon below to receive notifications on our upcoming videos. And if you love the information that we bring to you, be sure to check out our blogs and podcasts. The links are given in the description box below.